thought it was only 5.30. It was, an hour ago. Shame, this is going to jail me if I don't fix that fence for him. Oh, you should worry. I'm the one who has to make a thousand cream puffs. Since when were you in the cooking? Since Miss Murphy told me it was my inescapable duty for Founder's Day. What's Founder's Day? The anniversary of our school's founding. And our major fundraising drive for the year. Sounds pretty special. Everyone's putting in such an effort. That they are. You've done a rare job of inspiring everyone, Miss Murphy. Thank you, Seamus. You know, this may be the very first Founder's Day where everything goes right. Touch wood. Don't be such a pessimist. A pessimist is never disillusioned. Miss hmm? Murphy? Yes, Cormac. Would it be OK if we move this old thing out of the way? It would make it a lot easier just to put up this sign. That old thing is the gown that belonged to Maura O'Sullivan, O'Keefe's original headmistress. So that means what? We can't move it? It always goes there on Founders Day. It's a school tradition. But we could start a new tradition. We could put it... Cormac, the gown is not to be touched by anyone under any circumstances, clear? Right, miss, just asking. I'm sure you'll cope, Cormac. You always do. Which is more than I can say for Tara. Where on earth is she? You're one minute and 35 seconds late. They look delicious. Thank you. Would you like to try one? Later, thanks. You haven't seen Tara, have you? No, miss. She's supposed to go over her welcome speech with me. I hope she's learned it. Oh, I wouldn't worry. Tara won't let anything spoil her chance to be centre stage. There is that. But if you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yes, miss. Ooh, cream puffs. My favourite. Couldn't spare one, could you? All right, but just one. I haven't tried them myself yet. Oh! Uh. Oh. Uh. oh my! What happened? I was wondering where my plaster of Paris went. Plaster of Paris? You didn't use it all, did you? It's handy for all kinds of projects, but cookery is not one of them. Tell me this isn't happening. For cream puffs, I would definitely recommend bog standard corn flour instead. But Miss Murphy wants these for the board of directors lunch. What am I going to do? Your options are a bit limited. <sighs> I'm going to have to start all over again. One hour. How am I going to get corn flour and cook it in one hour? Tall order. <sighs> well, I'm not beaten yet. Accept no substitutes. Brett! Thank goodness. I need your help. Yeah, that's good to know, but who doesn't? Please! What's the problem? I need some corn flour. So? Go and buy some. Well, I can't go into town, and I really need it. Right away. Well, what do you want me to do? Well, your family restaurant. They've got to have some there. I've got to fix this fence. You've just fixed it. Yeah, not properly. Well, it's just for Founders Day, so it's just for show. Yeah? Tell that to Seamus. Seamus is a fuss pot. OK, this is a crisis. OK, I'll, I'll bring some up to you. Thanks. Magnificent animal it is, too. He'll raise a good amount to the auction, I'm thinking. It was very kind of Mr. Staunton to donate him. The man's a saint to give us a bull like that. The man wants his son to pass his exams. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's this about a bull? Mr. Staunton has donated a prize Charolais bull to be auctioned off. All proceeds to the school. 
Martin's dad. The very one. Won first prize ribbons in every county fair from Limerick to Antrim. Where'd you put him? In the pit, of course. Why else would I be wanting you to fix it? Oh. Uh, is there a problem? I hope not. This means trouble for me. Big, big trouble. It wasn't your fault, it was mine. Ah, but you were in charge of the fence. I was in charge of the bull. Anyway, we've got a much bigger problem to deal with. What? Do you have any idea what it means to have a bull on the loose, laddie? I haven't thought of that. It's not something that bears thinking about. But what, what do we do? You get yourself into town now. Pick up a link the box wire, then get back here and fix it right this time. I've got a bull to find. Is it really true what they're all saying? That orange is the new red? You bet. Orange is it. Absolutely it for this season. Mm, I'm not convinced. I don't want to look like everybody else, do I? I mean, not that I will anyway. That's the whole point. Mm. I'll take the red one. Great. Will that be the old red or the new red? What happened to all the cream puffs? Um, just taste testing. All of them? Well, I'm making some more, but um, just waiting on corn flour for the fillings. Wonderful. They'll be just the thing to put the governors in a good mood. Well done, Hannah. Huh? Sorry, are, are you right? I'm fine. No thanks to you. Would you get out of the way? I've got to be back at school and I'm already running late as it is. Hang on, I am. Um, I am a shortcut. Yeah. No, 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 really. It'll, it'll cut ten minutes off. Come on. Come on. Back inside, young lady. There's a bull running amok. A bull? Yeah, you know, great furry thing, bulky, mean-looking. You can't miss it. Oh. So stay inside. That could be dangerous. Uh, have you seen Brad anywhere? Yeah, he's off to town. On an errand. Town? You want anything done properly? Do it yourself. You never said it was through the fields. If it wasn't through the fields, it wouldn't be a shortcut, would it? Boys. Seriously, expect me to walk through this. It's disgusting. I'll piggyback you. Come on, hold on. Come on. Taken a taxi. I don't mind. Oh, I know you don't. What? What? There! Oh. Oh. Just relax and don't panic. Him. It, panic him! He's gonna charge us and gore us and trample us into the crowd. Tara, calm down. Oh, quick, quick. Oh, oh. It's our only chance. Go! Ow! Go! Go! I can't. Where will you can't. hurry? Uh, Tara, I can't. Just where are we going? Hurry, uh, just straight. Hi, Hannah. Oh, uh, Meredith. <laughs> Are you looking for something? Um... <sighs> See, I'm trying to make these cream puffs. Except they didn't turn out right, because I ran out of corn flour. I asked Brett and he said I could borrow some from here. You gonna make some more? I need heaps of them. 
Why don't you do it here? Here? We can use the big ovens. Jackie won't mind. Oh, I don't know. I'll help. Come on, we can have them done in no time. Well, thanks, Meredith. I really owe you one. We're gonna die, aren't we? Of course we're not. Can you see it? Um... Oh, it's sneaking up on us, isn't it? Tara, calm down. I'll think of something. If I do die, I'll come back and haunt you for the rest of your life. I don't think we're in any danger. It takes a lot to make a bull egg cry. This is the finish of me. A lifetime's walk down the drain. Mm. Ah! What's the matter? Oh, my feet! It's just a bit of mud. Where are my shoes? My bags. Where are my bags? Um, I think I dropped them. You what? Well, I couldn't see where I was going, and then you were kicking me. They're out there! It's OK. I'll get them for you. Keep the bull busy over this side of the field with the diversion while you make a dash for the gate. I'll never make it. Yes, you will. Trust me. No. Oh. <coughs> they're burnt. They're... And they're stuck. Hang on. I'll use a slice. No, they're ruined. Sorry, Hannah. What am I going to do now? I know. We used to have this French chef work here for a while. He used to make these fantastic puff cakes. What kind of puff cakes? A croque and bouche. What? A traditional French wedding cake. A croc and bouche. Sleepy? Brett! Brett! Oh, my poor 
shoes. Oh, I only got them last week. Wait a minute. Where's my dress? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, about that, Tara. It's sort of, um... Place, you said? It is the school founder. Who would not appreciate be seen in a dress? Put it back! Well, you told me to think of something. About the bull, Miss Murphy. Ah, uh, there's Mr. Collins. Uh, just give me ten minutes. I need to butter him up. I've heard he's prepared to pay big money for the bull. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Collins, how are you? So good to see you. And the same to you, Miss Murphy. I know this great shortcut, he says. I've got this fantastic idea to get rid of the bull, he says. And all I have to do is ruin your fabulous new red dress. I said I'm sorry. Oh, why am I constantly hassled by losers? Look, I'll make it up to you, Tara, honest. I'll help you any way I can. The only help I want from you is to stay as far away from me as you can. For the rest of your life! Well, what do you think? Oh, Meredith, you're a genius. Thank you so much. It was fun. Oh, my, look at the time, Meredith. I have to go. You go, I'll clean up. You're such an angel. I'll pay you back for this, I promise. friend of yours. Brett! Well, why? What happened? Oh, my hair is a mess, my new dress is ruined, my shoes were trampled in mud, and I was chased by a bull. And all this is Brett's fault? Of course. I'm going to see Miss Murphy and insist he said packing. There's no need to go that far. Oh, yes, there is. He's completely mad. He should be locked up. He's... What is that? A surprise. Brett, I just saw Tara. Have you seen Seamus? She's furious. What did you do to her? Nothing. Hey, did you make that? Get off. She's threatening to have you fired. Okay, you must have done something. I accidentally wrecked a new red dress. You did what? The one she was supposed to wear today. You are so wiped. Hey, at least I put the bull in a safe place. Look, I've got to go find Seamus. We've got to do something. She's determined to get even. I'll be back. Ah, Mr. McCracken. Miss Morphy said I'd find you out here. And find me, you did. Let's have a look at this prize bull then, eh? There's nothing I'd like to do better, Mr. Collins. I'd have to see if he's worth spending all my well-earned money on. So, where is he then? Uh, well, uh, that's uh, that's what I'd like to talk to you about. I, uh... He's stirred away. Nice and dry, Seamus. Huh? What? It looked like rain. So he moved into a nice dry shed just a short walk away. We did? Uh, where was it again? Uh, in the field. On the corner by Clancy's farm. You didn't want him to get wet. We wouldn't want a magnificent creature like Binky catching a cold on Founder's Day, would we? He must be a splendid animal if you're looking after him so well. He is that. Come on then. I'll show you the way. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, do you want to get that? Hannah, you're too much sometimes. 
Here I am facing major humiliation, and you want me to answer the door? Well, it could be for you. Oh. I thought I told you to stay as far away from me as possible. Tara, please, give me a chance. To do what? Hmm? Ruin the rest of my wardrobe? Thanks to you, I'm reduced to wearing the school uniform. You look good. You always look good. Today, I need to look better than good. And that's why I brought you this. to the cream puffs? Oh, well, they, they just seem so boring. I, I saw this in a recipe book and couldn't help myself. Just had to whip them up. Very nice. Now, uh, the first of the parents should be here any minute. Where on earth is Tara? She promised me she'd be here on time. Well, I'm, I'm sure she'll keep her promise. Isn't it, Miss Murphy? On Founders Day, there is always something. Greetings, esteemed visitors. I am Moira O'Sullivan, first headmistress at O'Keefe's College, and I welcome you on this special day to honor our founder, Angus O'Keefe. <laughs> supposed to be touched. There's always extenuating circumstances, Cormac. What a wonderful idea. Pride of place indeed. Oh, you know, Seamus, I have been worrying all day about something going wrong. And nothing's gone wrong. This could be the best Founders Day ever. A miracle, Miss Murphy. No dramas at all. 